Having three points of light on the front of your bike makes it easier for drivers to judge distance to you. In part one of this video, I showed you a set of LED auxiliary running lights that I installed on my Road Glide Special. In this video, I'll show you how to wire it up. I purchased a generic wiring harness for these lights. Here it is. It has a relay, a connection to the battery, a lighted rocker switch, and two connectors that will plug into these lights. Now, the brand I bought was different from the brand of the lights, and this harness was wired with a opposite polarity of what I needed. So I recommend that you buy the lights and the wiring harness that are the same brand. What I did was pull back the heat shrink tubing, release the pins in the connectors, reverse them, and put it back together. I'm assuming that if you buy the same brand you won't have to fuss with the wiring. Next, let's look at the circuit we'll use to connect to the Harley electrical system. This is the circuit that I'll use to connect to the Harley. This is the wiring harness here. There's the relay with its connections to the battery, but I'll connect to the parts and accessory circuit to power the lights. I'll use the cables and connectors to connect to the auxiliary running lights. Now it comes with a lighted rocker switch. There are three wires that go to that switch. I'm going to remove the switch and the three wires are the plus and the minus and the wire that goes back to the coil. I'm not going to use the plus or minus wires. So I will insulate them with a shrink wrap so that they aren't used and don't short. Then I'm going to tie into the running light of the one of the turn signals and run a wire through connector to a switch that I'll put on the switch housing and then back through a connector that connects into the coil. So I'm going to use automotive spade lugs, spade connectors to um, make those connections. The um, male spade connector will plug right into the wire that goes to the rocker switch. And I've got some uh, 22 aug wire. Be sure you use a good quality wire, one that's labeled that you know what size it is, what the temperature is. Because remember you've got the um, you're running the running light power down from the underneath the fairing into the switch housing up by the handlebars. And you want that wire to be good quality and be careful how you route it that it doesn't rub anywhere and that would rub through the insulation and short the wires. My first step will be to install the control switch on the switch housing. This switch will be mounted in the switch housing. I bought a bag of miniature toggle switches that have a waterproof cover up for them. I removed the instrument cluster and switch housing. You remove the two screws on the side and pull it off. Then very carefully remove the switch cover. It has a little plastic tab that um, could break easily. So you remove that, put the lock into uh, the lock position and disconnect the cable here 
and the two cables here. What I'm going to do is remove this blank insert, drill a hole in it, and mount the switch. These are the steps to follow to prepare the wiring for the switch. Cut a length of wire about 10 inches long. Solder the wire to the switch using the center and one side terminal. Cover the terminals with heat shrink tubing. At the end of the wire, install spade connectors, one male, one female. Cover the connectors with heat shrink tubing. Drill a 5 16 inch hole in the blank switch plate. Mount the switch. Install the waterproof boot. Install the switch plate in the instrument housing. Remove the plus and minus wires from the rocker switch. Cover the plus and minus wires with heat shrink tubing and remove the coil wire from the rocker switch. I have removed the outer fairing and the headlamp and put the wiring harness in place to do a test. I connected the uh, plus and minus to the positaps that I used for the GPS. I cut off the fuse, the inline fuse that comes with the harness. Um, it had a 40 amp fuse and the PNA circuit is, has a 20 amp fuse. So it's not good to have two fuses in line and the 40 amp fuse would be no good anyways. I also tapped into the tail light circuit and just um, put a pigtail in that to do a test. I hooked up the harness to the light. So let's do that smoke test. I'll put the switch in the ignition position and then put my pigtail to the lead for, that goes to the relay coil and as you can see it comes on with the tail light. Then I'll put it in accessory position and you see it won't come on because the tail light is not on in the accessory position. So I've got the right connection for the tail light and the wiring harness is working. I fished the wire down through the instrument housing into the top of the spine and forward. The wire emerges here and I've got a piece of black tubing that I put over it which I will slide up to where it goes into the spine just to protect it some. Here are the steps to complete the wiring of the control switch. Connect one lead to the positive tap connected to the tail light wire. Install a spade lug to the other wire and cover it with heat shrink tubing. Plug the connector into the coil wire of the harness. At the switch end of the wire, install spade connectors, one male, one female, and cover with heat shrink tubing. Connect the two parts of the switch wire. Test the lights and reinstall the instrument cluster. That's it for this project on installing the auxiliary running lights on my Road Glide Special. Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. It all helps. It's time to find another project.